Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be a quick tip. These are a couple uh, questions that I was asked. So I thought, let me just put them all real quick into a video. Um, a lot of times uh, I sit here and paint and I don't um, record it or do anything else because I'm just trying to like try to figure out a few things that I want to do, whether it's for an odd girl or a painting or what have you. Um, so I like to go into my art journal. I did turn the camera on while I started doing this and I think I'm just going to speed it up and add music to it. Um, and I got like one more section I want to do. I have a vision in my mind. Um, if you don't know, I am not a religious person. However, I dig everything like, you know, the Virgin Mary that kind of thing. Um, and it's not, I, I don't know what it is. Something has always drawn me to that. I don't know if it is growing up Catholic or religious or what have you. Um, however, I, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, Dave, Dave found at the, at the Goodwill, uh, thrift store, a big statue of mother Mary, um, because I always want a bathtub Mary. And I know it's called something else. Don't, that's just how I grew up and what we called it. I grew up in Pittsburgh, so we called it Bathtub Mary. Um, but I love it. And I want one for my yard. And um, But anyway, Dave found me at the Goodwill, this big, beautiful Mary statue. And I love it. I love it. So anyway, that's what this is. So don't, don't forget that you're, um, excuse me one second, that you're, Art journal can be for mapping out bigger pa paintings or, you know, whatever. An ATC card can be a map out for a journal page or, you know, vice versa. It depends. Don't let yourself get hung up like this is my art journal and I want it to be beautiful and I want it to be perfect. We have one for that if that's what your gig is. But don't forget that you can use it just to play. Um, and that's what I love doing it. So, like I said, I said that I would show you guys more of me working in my art journal, uh, figuring out paintings and, um, other things I do just for myself when I get anxious or depressed or panic starts to set in. There you go. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, I get asked a lot about faces and circles and that. Now I've been asked a million times. I have a brother scan and cut. And I've been asked a million times to do stencils and I have done some stencils. Um, but one of the most that I get is face shapes. So I am going to work on those for you guys and then sell them for just a couple bucks. Um, you know, just to cover shipping and, and pack, you know, and what I use. However, um, some of the things you have around the house work so good. For instance, if you have a washi tape roll, then definitely you can see the difference. Okay, um, but this is a bigger one, and if, I don't have any really white papers, but you can see if you do, I don't want to smash that yet. Let's see my pencil. Oh, let's use this. This is just a, um, what is it, a Prismacolor, yeah, Premier. These are my favorite colored pencils at the moment. Well, for like the last 10 years, but we won't get into that. And I use them quite a bit and I just bought another set, um, which I'll talk about in another video, but I, I kind of being washed out a bit, but look at this. No, you can't even see it. Can you? Come on, baby. It's cause there's no sun today. So the lighting's all off in here, but you can see, I should have done it with a darker See how you're getting that face shape? I'm going to do it again because that is not doing anything for me. This can be a paint bottle. This could be a, do you see what I'm saying? Um, but I am, I am going to make them for you guys. You guys keep asking and I love it. Okay. Is this what I used or did I use the, oh my God. I tell you the truth. Medication has got me in a tailspin. I am uh, not doing very well. <laughs> Gosh. So. Not doing good. Okay. So you see, you can draw it around and, you know, obviously you'll take another second to make sure you get that whole full roundness. And then you see if you put a neck, 
you have a beautiful face there. These are this is what I used to do when I did. I've done so many commissions and so many paintings of angels. It's my gig. It's what I love. And I think I'm going to go back to doing a few of them, like more extravagantly done. But do you see this? So now we have this face. So if you go and I'm just going to break it in half and you start and you make it straight, not like me, because I live in a world that goes like this. And then you can, you know, mark where you want your eyes. You can mark where, you know, okay, that's going to be the middle. Then from here to here will be an eye, you know, and you want to measure it and all that kind of thing. You can do it like that. Or if it's like, oh, you know, that's too round. Because I usually cut, cut it out with hair. But you can go and add, go from your face and go down there and go down there. And you can get yourself a chin and then race this where ma days ago. It probably needs to be smashed again, which is another video. All right, but you see what I'm saying? And then you can just kind of make a chin on there. And then, you know, you can, you know that you want your lips here. right and you can do a set of lips any way you want you want bigger smaller it doesn't matter and then your nose can go right here and then your eyes would go here I'm very quick sketching these are just things do your eyebrow you know if you're just drawn in and you see you got yourself a cute little face and you know, you can do your thing with that. Something else. Now, this is, like I said, wonderful um, thing. I also, I don't know if you guys know, and maybe you do. I mean, I'm, I'm not doing this because, you know. But if you want, you can pop this out of your pills when you're done with them. I use these, I use pill bottles for storage for everything. Um, beads and, and everything. But you can pop this out. Uh, you can use this to trace. I love using this to do my circles, okay, which I'll show you in a second. And I probably have already shown you, and that's okay. And you can do the same thing with this. You know, if you're doing an ATC card, I mean, look at that perfect circle. Um, and it has these ridges, so if you want to stamp um, and get... You know, you get two for, you know, those are fun, 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 fun. And you could do the same thing here where you kind of cut it in half, cut it in half, you know, I'm just kind of eyeing it up and then do the same thing where you do your lips and your nose. That's how I like to do it. Um, and then your eyes. I probably went a little too far up for this one, but I think you're seeing what I'm saying. So you see what I'm saying? You need to do a moon, whatever. Take the extra time. Sometimes it's hard for me on videos to actually show you uh, as long as I want to take because it takes long to do whatever I'm doing. My brain don't work. Oh, let's move on. Okay. So yes, let's go on to this real quick while we're on this page. This is a gooey, stretchy eraser needed eraser eraser is what it's called and you can say and i have anxiety and i know everybody likes to play with slime or the fidgety things or whatever i don't know but i sit and do this a lot but when you're getting these and you're like it's not erasing anymore maybe you're not aware that you can get you know you tear some off and you kind of mush it around a bit i usually you know try to give them to emily or something so she could play with it or I sit with my anxiety and you just kind of, you know, mold it how you want it. You can mold it very thin, very heavy, whatever y'all like and go in and it starts to erase again where, let me see, maybe this part I've used a lot of and it's not going to, you can see it, it's not taking anything off. This I go in fresh and lovely and come on, where'd that side go? I mean, look, it's gone. So don't forget, I put two of them together because I don't know why, um, but I did. And you make sure that you, you know, you pull it and just, you know, and your hands could get a little, um, the heck is under that nail? I don't even want to know some sort of paint. Um, 
but yeah, so you can definitely reuse these over and over and over again. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we're going to go back to, I mean, we can do it here too. Where did it go? Right here. So it's kind of dry. It's kind of taking. Okay. So another thing I want to talk about is gesso. I love me some gesso. You can make your own gesso. You can buy gesso. You know, I'm digging uh, the folk art gesso I use all the time. And you can use this for white. And you're going to see when I do this, put this video up, that's what I'm using for this white. Why, Kelly? Let me tell you, a lot of people, a handful of people give me a lot of crap about using gesso as white. Um, because I think if you don't have white paints, but maybe you have a couple other colors for whatever reason, or you're out of white, you don't have the money, you're painting, you're doing your art journal, you're doing your ATC cards. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to always have white. You can use gesso. I use gesso because I'm going to put another coat down, but it covers, it covers mistakes. It covers, I'm making, trying to make like a white part of this. Um, so I'm going to put another coat on, uh, and then go in with the color, which I'm loving lately, the vanilla custard, uh, and the dilutions, or I also love, um, not the face paint. That's this where I have my carts out there, but anyway, there's a, uh, antique linen, that kind of thing. Right. Um, Titan buff works great, but that's neither here or there at the moment. Use gesso whenever you want. What is the difference? People give me crap and say, you can't use gesso on white if you're doing a canvas. Yes, I can, because I probably just sewed the canvas. I probably, so, you know, look, you want to use expensive things. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you one of my favorite things in the world. It is golden Titan buff. I have a lot of golden. Y'all know if you've been with me for a while, that's what I would paint everything in. But then illness and disability and blah, blah, blah. So you can see, I love this. And I've had this for years Dave bought this for me and he bought me a bunch of different golden, you know, like the, like I tell you guys, Roy G. Biv, so I could play when I started out. This is one of my favorites. I'm probably going to be what I use uh, on here. But what I like to do is say to you, oh, you know what? I'm going to use my golden Titan buff, which the lid is just kind of being fancy here. Um, but folk art has this color in, you know, this color that I'm using in another da, 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 blah, blah, blah. you know what I mean I like to give you guys cheaper versions because I do feel funny sometimes using my golden because it, I'm like look make your own paint make your own this and then I'm using this but that's why I've had it uh this this is before my son passed on so we're talking seven years whatever it is bless his soul up there so you know wherever he is in the ether so I will give you a, you know, I'll look at my things and say, Hey, you can buy this. You can buy this small too. I got the big one because my husband bought it as a gift. Um, and I should put out, pull out on my golden, but anyway, that's another video. I'm not going to do much longer. Okay. So another thing I get asked all the time is Stabilo Sharpie oil crayon. Um, these are called the Sharpie peel off China markers. And what these are is a China marker. I got asked, Oh, I have it written down, but I don't have it here at the moment. And I'm not going to do the video about that right this second, an easy way to peel this stuff off. Because let me tell you, look, look at me. I'm like, come on, just come on, but I will figure it out and I will do a video and tell you how I got it. Stabilos white, lovely. I love these things and a crayon, white crayon. Okay, we have a dark piece here. Um, now, you know, when you go on with your wax crayon to draw, all right, let's say we're going to draw a face. Just, I like to go around. You can draw and map out with a white crayon. Okay, no problem. Now, is that going to mix with your work? Eh, you know what? They do have crayon erasers. I don't think you need to get that into it. Um, but you can see it's not going to come off. Okay. It's wax. Now, something that you can do is let's warm that baby up with a hairdryer or your heat gun and see what we can do. It's not going to bother anything though. Let's just do this section.
Okay, and I like to kind of go and dab. And you see what happens? Look at that. Gone. It's a gone. So I can continue doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And again, look at it. It's gone. I mean, you see a little bit there, but okay. You see what I'm saying? So there is a way that you can. Now, you, you know, if you draw with a white crayon, paint over it and see. You can, um, you know, see how your stuff works. That's the fun of having the art journal, you know. And that's why I'm kind of sticking with the art journal today, because this is stuff you can do in your art journal. Um, so the white crayon, draw, chalk, wonderful. But if you don't have the Stabilo or this. Now, this is a China marker, which means it writes on glass. Anything China, anything glossy, anything that's non-porous. Um, but, of course, the same thing kind of goes with this. I'm going to go a little harder with that. And you can get... Yeah, I'll show you because I didn't, but I mean, you can get hard with a crayon, right? White crayon. And then we have my Stabilo. And you see, you get the same thing. So don't worry about, you know, oh, I, I can't afford a Stabilo. Oh, I can't find a Stabilo. Oh, this. This I got in a box. And I don't know how many I have left. I have to look. Um, But obviously Amazon. Everything's Amazon for me. Uh, this though, I used the Sharpie peel off. I got, somebody sent me a bunch of different colors, but the white one, um, you can buy separately, at AC Moore, Michaels, that kind of thing. Um, and this is fantastic if you want to draw or, you know, use it for your stencil or whatever you have. And this, my loves is a Crayola crayon. And does it need to be Crayola? No, it could be Rose art. It could be dollar store or it could be Crayola and I can't think of the other names if there are if there are leave them down below but it's just a white stinking crayon okay and watch real quick let's see what they all do when it comes to removing them I don't think the Stabilo will move it might smear which it will be activated with water the Stabilo If you don't know what a Stabilo is, I'll do another quick video. Let me know down below. Well, I can smell something melting. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Look at that. This is the Stabilo. So what happens with the Stabilo is, I'll spray it. I got a paintbrush. Look, that's the Stabilo. So you can blend that out. These not so much. The crayon went because it waxed, the wax melted. But see the China marker? That's still there and no water will change that. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, but if I do this again, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now let's see. And you can see it melts it. So there is a way to remove the China marker, the Stabilo, the crayon. Don't get hung up too much. Chalk. Yeah. You got chalk. Use it. Go to the dollar store, get chalk. Do you boo do you. Okay. So I think that's all I'll show you right now because I'll do one more thing because this is important. All right. Colored pencils. Love colored pencils. These are my prismas. Well, and this goes for, you know, your Stabilo, anything that you, you want to sharpen, but you see how it has two holes. Oh, Kelly, that's what she said. I'm just going in. I'm, I'm thinking the, the thought, but then I just say, that's what she says. Just so all you guys out there know. So I'm going in once and I'm, doing it right look at that point but if you go in here it just takes all the wood off but you want it to be at that point when you're coloring when you're using it because you don't want to be dull it's going to be fuzzy it's going to be flat you're not going to be able to do i'll do it on here 
special, uh, you know, detail or marks. So and I'm just kind of going in because see now this is old. This is why I bought new uh, Prismacolors because these old ones that you buy, sometimes those little leads come out and they say that you should put it in the microwave, the whole pencil, but it has metal, doesn't it? Yeah, it has metal on it. What's that going to do to my microwave? Doesn't that do sparks? Anybody down below, let me know what you did. Back in the day when I used to do eyeliner, you know, do my makeup all the time, we would um, do that, you know, take a lighter and light it and use it for our uh, eyeliner, you know, to like melt it. So yeah, I'm going to use this for like shadow and stuff, but I wanted to show you, you know, just to make sure that you sharpen that good when you're working any color pencil that you want, because it really gives you good, um, you know, fine lines. Okay. I like to stay away from the fine lines on my face, but I do enjoy them on my papers. So that's all the tips and all I'm going to do for you today, because we're already 20 minutes in and I could sit here and keep talking and talking and talking, but I won't. Hey, you know what I always say, please be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Um, if you don't have a nice comment, just please don't leave one for anybody. Okay. We work really hard doing our videos and painting and, and the cost of everything. And, and I love it. I do. Um, and that's why I do it because 99% of you are wonderful, but you always get that 1%. And I know everybody gets it, the thumbs down, the email, the this, the that. I'm going to do me. And if you don't want to watch me, go somewhere else. I love you guys so very much. Progress, not perfection. That is me. That is what I uh, try to do. Try to say. I'll probably have this done maybe up tomorrow. And any tips that y'all have, please put below because I love tips. Um, and I'm going to be answering a lot of your emails and stuff with tips like I did today. So please have a great day. Even though if it's yucky out there like it is here in Jersey. I love you guys. Bye.